DaVinci Resolve Beta 1 and Beta 2 might be the most reliable versions of Resolve that I have used in the last four and a half years of editing, but I think I found a bug. So welcome back to Creator Reality, I'm John, and I had an issue earlier, I was editing for my other channel, and I got a fusion effect that didn't work, and I think I figured out why and kind of a workaround. And look, I'm a YouTuber, I'm not publishing on a deadline or for a broadcast station or any, anything super professional, but if you're a hobbyist like me, you're going to end up probably running into this issue. One of the key factors is I did have some projects that were created in DaVinci Resolve 19 and there's a setting that carried forward into DaVinci Resolve 20 but it didn't carry forward the way I thought it would. So anyway, without any further ado, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you what I'm working with here. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. We're in a project that I created in DaVinci Resolve 19 and I want to put my logo over my motorcycle footage. This is basically what I was doing when I was editing for, a, or editing a video rather, for my other channel. And I put my logo on it, I come over to effects, and I've got my logo pop here. I did a video on how to create this, I think it's a cool effect, so I showed anybody who's willing to watch how to make it at home. But I had a problem when I dragged this on. You'll notice that it works fine here, right? I can play it back and it looks great, it's doing the thing at the end of the clip, it does the thing and it goes away. No big deal, right? Now, let's jump into a project created in DaVinci Resolve 20, and I'll show you the problem that I found. So here we are in a DaVinci Resolve 20 Beta 2 project, and I'm gonna go to my media pool, grab my logo, bring it on, alt mouse wheel to zoom in, extend this out, and this is just a logo, and we will get into why this, uh, why this issue is happening in just a moment. But if I go to effects and I drag my logo pop on, boom, black screen. Can't do anything with that, right? <sighs> there is a fix, but before I fix it, let's look at the problem. So we will click on the fusion icon in the logo pop effect, and you'll see that my frames start at, what is that, 107,000 and change and go up to 108,000 and change. Now, if I minimize this window, We'll just drag that up. We can drag this around, make some more room. And we see that everything downstream of the keyframe stretcher one is red, including the keyframe stretcher. And this is important. So if I click on this or double click on this to open it up, you'll see source start, source end, and the stretch start and stretch end. Well, none of those frames are anywhere in here. Now, it is my assumption, and I'm not a fusion expert per se, I know enough to be dangerous, but it's my assumption that because the frames that are referenced in the keyframe stretcher are not in the clip here, that's the problem. That's what's causing this error. And whenever you see a red node in fusion, it contains an error. So let's take a little bit of a deeper dive into it, because I think this stuff's sort of fascinating. If you agree, boop the like button. So going back to our edit page, if I just click on my clip, my logo, and then click the fusion page icon, it's gonna open up just that clip in the fusion page. And we can expand this so you can see, it's just the logo, right? This doesn't include those nodes that we saw before because we're not inside the logo pop effect, we are inside the clip itself. And if you notice, the frames start at zero and they go to like 770 or 775. That, that's the problem, right? We're expecting to see zero to 770 in the logo pop effect. So if I go back and click on my fusion icon for the effect, you'll see now it's fixed. Look at that. And now it works. So if I go to edit, you'll notice it's working now. So job done, right? Not so fast. There's a setting that we can set to prevent all of this in the future. I mentioned it earlier, let's do it now. So you can either click on the cog icon down here for project settings or file project settings. And then we're gonna skip all the way down to fusion and you'll see this setting, legacy fusion composition frame count. And I do believe that any fusion composition created in DaVinci Resolve 19 or before counts as legacy, right? Somebody has to know better than me. Comment it down below, please let me know. 
I did a bunch of searching on Google and the forums and Discord and all this other stuff. Nobody had a solution, so I'm making this video because I came up with a solution, but I don't know truly the cause. So let's fix this. We'll click on the icon, click, uh, well, click on the setting rather. Now it's selected and our default start frame is zero. It's grayed out. We can't change that. We could change it if it's not checked. So I don't really know, but checking this and clicking save fixes it. So if I backspace with that uh, logo selected, it goes away. And then I can go back to my media pool and I can grab that same logo, stretch it back out. It looks fine. We'll go to effects, logo pop, boom, done. How cool is that? Pretty, pretty simple fix, right? But, it was really just hounding me. I was like, why is this happening? I didn't notice it in beta one of DaVinci Resolve 20. And I think that's because I was still editing projects created back in 19 and I hadn't gotten to the projects created in DaVinci Resolve 20. Therein lies the rub. In the project settings for DaVinci Resolve 19 project or one that was created in 19, I'm in the same project settings, but it's all grayed out. You can't select it or anything. So it's like DaVinci Resolve knows and something different is happening. And I know they mentioned it in the release notes, but I don't know. I, I don't know what this is for. I don't know what it does, but it broke my stuff and I wasn't happy. But I came up with a fix. So now that we have changed that setting, we don't want this to happen in the future. So let's set some project defaults. In our project settings here, the three dots up here give us a lot of options. Default preset, you can update it, or you can set the current settings as default preset. And when you try to do that, it'll tell you, hey, are you sure you wanna do this? You can't undo it. Yes, you're sure. And you click update and job done. You have now prevented this issue from cropping up in the future. That's all I got for you today. Hopefully if you're experiencing this issue with an older project or a newer project and an older effect, you can go in and change that one setting and fix it. Anyway, until next time, go check out this video that YouTube has picked out for you from my catalog, and I hope you're having a great day. John out.